Come on, how does that make sense to anyone at all? It's head corporate. They want to pay us at Tencom Media $10,000 to give a good review of the new Auxetic Gravity MP and the Auxetic Radical MP. That's just the kind of stuff that we deal with here at Tencom Media. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, you're just not getting it. It's not about the money. It's about this CPI thing. It just doesn't make sense to anyone. I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. You haven't talked to my viewers. You don't reply to my comments. They're more crazy than a radical group of insane political activists. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, $20,000, that's good. If you didn't know, Auxetic is this amazing new technology that increases both power and spin and power and control and stability and control and feel on every shot from all areas of the court to help you stay connected to your power and control while winning points against your opponents on the courts, dominating them with stability and feel. Okay bit over, so I've always found manufacturers to be completely full of shit. Their power ratings can be some of the stupidest things ever, so I just wanted to make fun of Head for emphasizing their CPI so much. All right, here we go, starting off with the Auxetic Radical MP. I think this is truly one of the best looking rackets you can buy right now. <gasps> Interestingly, both of the Radical and Gravity MPs do have the same CPI, which is 300 and on court, it does feel like their control to power ratios are pretty similar. But what's crazy to me is they achieve this same CPI in two very different ways. So let's take a look at the specs to see what exactly is going on here. Highlighted in green are the specs that lean towards power. So on paper, it does seem like the Radical is the more powerful racket. However, when you look at the specs, it seems like the Gravity MP might be geared more towards intermediate players featuring kind of clash like specs. So in that way, it kind of sounds like that is going to be the more powerful racket. It's got a 16 by 20 string pattern instead of the 1619 in the Radical. So that seems tighter, more controlled, but it's also got a much lower RA coming all the way at the bottom end at 59. Yet somehow on court and in reality, it's the Radical that feels more controlled to me. The average density of the string spacing in the Radical appears to be much tighter than what's found in the Gravity. And this is just exacerbated by that 98 square inch head compared to the Gravity's 100, which really gives that Radical a more precise feel, making it very easy to determine where exactly you contacted that ball on the string bed. I think this is a great attacking weapon because of that dense string pattern. So it seems like somehow the Radical is both more controlled and more powerful than the Gravity MP. So why even make the Gravity MP in the first place? All right, Gravity MP, Laver Cup Edition. Thank you to the viewer, Brandon, who sent that over. And right away with this compared to the Radical, it feels way softer, way plusher, and way more springy off the string bed. So I see three main advantages on that Gravity MP when compared to the Radical. Forgiveness, spin potential, and feel. And of course we know that a 100 is going to be more forgiving than a 98, but like a nice butt, it's more about shape than size. The Gravity series has a very wide head. It's more circular shaped, featuring longer crosses than most typical rackets. And this wider head shape offers two critical advantages. You definitely notice that wider spin window on court. It's really easy to whip up the back of the ball. <sighs> So wider head shapes mean wider spin windows, meaning that you can take a steeper approach angle with your swing to brush on a huge amount of topspin. I found myself really taking advantage of this feature on court. It was easy to loop up high, heavy balls to push my no. opponents back off the baseline. So even though there are more cross strings, the practical reality is the launch angle is just a little higher with the gravity. 
This higher launch angle pairs wonderfully with a wider oh, spin window. It makes you feel very confident in defensive positions as you can get just so much arc and curl on any shot that you want. This inspires a lot of confidence in defensive positions because I found it very easy to curl on a lot of spin and a lot of arc to get that ball high and deep to buy myself more time when playing defense. The other crucial benefit of a wider head is that you're going to get more or off center forgiveness. Essentially, it's just harder to shank the ball when you've got that extra head size so far away from the center axis of the racket. The combination of the added forgiveness and easy spin potential make the Gravity MP an absolute pleasure to play defensive baseline tennis with. And this is where you really start to see the difference between the Gravity and the Radical. And on court, that denser string pattern means that this is an excellent attacking weapon. So the launch angle on the 16 by 19 oh. string pattern with the Radical is surprisingly low. The response of the string bed actually reminds me a lot of rackets like the EZO 98 and my 360 Plus Extreme uh, uh, Tour. Oh, uh, that tighter pattern does punish you a little on defense though. There's a crispness, a directness that these ultra tight 16 by 19 patterns oh, offer that feels just a little bit more lively than what you would typically see in an 18 by 20. Right away, you instantly notice a much crisper feel than is in fashion. Featuring a strong 65 RA, I think the Radical does play a little bit stiffer. It's not necessarily that it feels uncomfortable, it's more that it's got this boardy, uniform flex that's pretty rare in recent times, especially with the introduction of Head's Auxetic Tech. It's also got a lot of stability, part of that is due to that crisper feel and the slightly thickened beam. There has been such a trend towards flexier, more comfortable rackets, making this Radical really stand out and offering a unique feel. The Radical feels so responsive and predictable because it feels like there's almost no bending of the frame. This gives me so much confidence when it comes to redirecting, pace, or generating any power that I can find in my own game. So I noticed this most on returns. That shot to me really tests the stability of the frame, but it was also very present during those intense baseline exchanges and super consistent during those few times where I actually do make my way up oh, to the net. Ignoring my horrible volley technique, the combination of stability and stiffness and that really control-oriented string bed really helps on volleys. The Gravity MP, on the other hand, has that really plush, classic, auxetic feel that we're coming to know and some love, while some, like me, don't really. The dwell time you get off the string bed is absolutely heavenly. Oh, that was a dirty no look. I do think for feel, the Gravity does win. It holds the ball on the string for so long. But sadly, the auxetic tech and that super low 59 strung RA makes the oh, gravity yeah. MP kind of clashy, like Wilson oh, clashy in a way that does uh, introduce some inconsistencies under pressure. I just don't feel quite as connected though. This auxetic has added a little bit of inconsistency in the flex. So when I'm on the top of my game, I found the response off the string bed to be a little bit too consistent to fully trust when I'm really demanding a lot of the racket. And that's where you notice the inconsistent response. So for me and my game, the Radical MP is the clear winner. And while it wasn't love at first hit, I've really found my stride with this racket. Oh, the aggressive play with this Radical is so nice. I truly felt like I could hit every shot in my arsenal with the Radical MP. It was my tennis unlimited. The last thing is I am experiencing surprising arm pain with this Gravity MP. So there was just something about this weight oh. distribution that was really causing me to miss time on my forehand. And I'll admit, part of this is because I've been trying so many rackets lately. You might say I'm experiencing what could be called racket fatigue, where you kind of lose your game amidst the sea of demos. But I think this really goes to show that 
When it comes to comfort, our oh, weight and stiffness isn't the end all, be nice. all. I would have got that, but I can't scratch a viewer's racket, you know? If a racket just doesn't work with your swing, you find yourself mistiming it, especially if you're catching it late, that's going to cause a lot of added stress in your wrist and forearm area, which could then lead to discomfort. Even though this gravity comes in a little bit lighter on paper, on court, it just feels a little slower. So at the end of the day, how should you choose between these two rackets? And even though Head is calling the Radical the people racket it's really more of a player's racket it really reminds me of those blades back when they were actually stiff and a little bit more powerful I think if you're looking for like an e-zone with feel or a pro staff that's easier to use this is what you want so if you can generate enough of your own oh. power it really feels like the sky is the limit with the auxetic radical MP it plays well from all areas of the court and truly reminds me of my 360 plus extreme tours in a more powerful more forgiving package the gravity mp seems to have more of an upper limit when it comes to user inputs i think it plays amazingly at slower or medium paced balls so if you're looking for a plush experience with big spin potential and you're hovering around that 3.5 to 4.0 level the gravity mp is very hard to beat now i definitely don't think that the average player is going to experience discomfort from the gravity mp it's super plush on contact and as long as you're able to keep your contact point out front it should be totally fine but i just wanted to mention as this was just one part of my experience i actually think it would make for a very fun doubles racket if you like to play more of that like old man tennis that relies on funky spins and creative angles and generally being sneaky rather than just blowing your opponents off the court with power. And no shade to old man doubles, that's by far my favorite kind of doubles. And I have to say, I'm definitely vibing with this uh, Radical MP.